The girls of Wild Child have been exploring the southern Bahamas. In this episode, they're going to sail from Crooked Island up to Long Island. All right, good morning, sailors and sailing fans. It's your two favorite sailor girls in the Bahamas, and it's time to go sailing again. However, conditions for today will be um, Dear Miss Daisy's roughest sail to date. I'm expecting sporty conditions over 20 knots, sustained 20 to 25, with seas averaging at 2 meters, with occasional harmonics up around the 10 foot mark. We're going to be beam reach to broad reach for most of the sail, which means it's like running downwind, which is easy sailing, but the motion of the boat gets very hard side to side. This is going to be rough on Miss Daisy, so we have given her her. She's taking her seasickness tablets. Hopefully that'll help her survive this and do well. We're going to probably sail off the anchor now. And it feels like today we're going to sail with double reefed main, storm sail, maybe 30% Jenny. We'll have to see. But um, I'm going to use boat magic for the getting the boat ready off the hook because you guys have seen it hundreds of times. Today I'm going to show you more about the actual conditions of the sailing and less about the work that it takes to get us out there. So let's do some boat magic. Ready? We're sailing off anchor now. We are off. We are off. I'm able to get Wild Child to lift off the anchor by pulling on the boom, get the mainsail to lift, and then release it and let the lift go. Okie dokie, Wild Child sailing off the anchor now. Gotta run to the helm get control of my girl. Anchors just came off the bottom. So now, the hardest thing about Wild Child is to get her to fall off the wind. One of the unique features of a well-balanced race boat is that with main only, I can crank the helm hard over and she basically holds too. She hovers directly into the wind. Here we go. Good girl. It's a lot of work to convince Wild Child on main only just to fall off the wind because God does she ever want to run upwind. But I did it. Got my boom uh, out to the side so I turned her from a wing to a parachute again and once I bled the lifting force out of her, she fell off. And for you wannabe sailors out there, that's how it's done. Uh, yes, With Miss Daisy on my crew as my teammate, Wild Child has the strongest crew she's ever had. These two girls are fantastic sailors. Together, we can conquer we're anything. We're going to have to close the Dodger window soon. Okay. It's going to be rough today. And just like that, no engine, two expert sailor girls doing an excellent and perfect job and 10 knots of wind sail off the anchor in an open anchorage. <clears throat> I don't know why people panic so much when their engine dies. If you guys notice, there's been a little bit of a change to Wild Child's um, help station, the instrument panel. You can see we're going five knots with double reefed main only and our depth is over 300 so we don't have to worry about reefs but I changed the top here I've decided I want to know and see the apparent wind speed and the true wind speed so I can always be looking at the difference between the two <clears throat> that way when the bearings on my anemometer begin to fail I'll have an indication that something's going wrong and it's very interesting to see the difference between true wind speed and apparent wind speed I expect you experienced sailors watching this to already understand the difference between true wind speed and apparent wind speed, right? Of 
course, our sailor teddy bears already know this technical mumbo jumbo. Right now, as we sail out of the protection of the island, conditions are rather calm, but I'm expecting sporty conditions sustained 20 to 25 today. Because we're running beam to broad reach, I've decided to balance the boat using the storm sail today. We're going to run cutter rigged. So I have double reef main and I'm going to run the storm sail and that's what you saw me prepping. We're now going to pull the storm sail and if we need it for balancing our CLE we can add some jenny later. The problem is my jenny track is not long enough to only pull 30 or 40 percent, 30 percent jenny and track it properly with the um, traveler because my tracks just don't go far enough to have the head sails so tiny. So that's why I'm going to use the storm sail instead. Running cutter rig helps me rebalance my CLE so that Wild Child can bleed off any gusts over 30 knots. You guys can see that I'm going forward on deck, always tether into the jack line because that's safe. Sometimes when I know Wild Child's going to be taking a beating on a nasty ocean, sometimes the waves hit the anchor so hard that it tries to lift it off the bow roller and break it free. It has before broken the little rope that restrains and holds the anchor up there. That rope is broken before because the forces of the ocean washing your bow when it dips underwater or smashing your bow when your bow goes underwater almost to the mast is so enormous that when it hits the flat plate of the anchor there's so much pressure on it sometimes it breaks free so one of the things that I do when I know I'm going into rough conditions is I this is like advanced sailor experience and knowledge is I have a rope on the bow pulpit and I and it's wrapped around the bow pulpit and I'll wrap it around the roll bar of the anchor and then wrap it around the other side of the bow pulpit. So there's really no way the anchor can leave the bow roller even if the anchor restraint line snaps which happens sometimes in very rough conditions. So that's just like advanced sailor experience knowledge and that's what I was doing up there. You can see that Wild Child's a happy girl. We're sailing along in sporty conditions, sustained over 20 knots of wind speed. We're doing 6.4 knots and we're on a broad reach starboard tack. But it's comfortable because I've really reduced and really reefed the sails. Wild Child only has to sail 40 nautical miles today and we have 13 hours of daylight to do it in. We're not in a rush. My goal is not to go as fast as possible, but rather to keep my crew Miss Daisy from getting seasick or vomiting on her roughest passage yet. Conditions are not awful, but the boat is definitely rolling and we want her to keep her sea legs.
So we're sailing along in one and a half to two meter waves and the biggest unknown variable for this sail, which is Daisy's roughest sail to date, is, is Daisy going to get seasick? How you doing Daisy? I'm good. No seasickness here. Uh, it's quite cool being in all the big waves, but I feel good. So, I mean we still have 30 nautical miles to go, so there's time, but I think I'll be okay. Sailing in these conditions, uh, sporty, sustained over 20, 2 meter waves, is nothing new for Captain Lexi or Wild Child or Teddy Bear. We've done this for thousands of hours, it's fine. The boat can take it, the captain can take it, the teddy bears can take it. The biggest unknown variable was how Miss Daisy's seasickness would be. But as you can see, she's doing really well. One tough chick. Ten miles from our destination now, and uh, Wild Child had to go around an underwater volcano because you never, never, never sail over top of underwater volcanoes. It's dangerous, and the wind shifted because of the storm. So I basically I put the storm sail away because we're in a dead run right now. So we're in a dead run, we're rolling in two meter swell, the boat's moving a lot, so the boom's getting gravity slammed side to side, so the, the main sail is, boom is prevented to stop it from slamming, but I'm trying to curve my wind across the stern, like it, I'm dead run and close to backwinding my main. So the storm sail was completely in dead air doing nothing, so we put that away. We have no Jenny out. We're running on a double reef main only for the last eight or 10 miles, and then we have to come in and come around the corner. One of the things that through experience I've learned to do is the chip for the chart and my chart plotter is static and it's from four years ago and Navionics is constantly updating their maps because there's a lot of errors in the older maps. So on the cell phone, I paid them their stupid subscription fee for the latest maps and I compare the newer map against the older map and between the two of them, I look for my safe way in. Oh, you're so late post. How was the sailing, Daisy? It was great, thank you. There was no sick, which is always a positive. Uh, the waves were great, they were massive, which was a nice experience. Um, yeah, no, it was just pretty cool. The waves, eh? Like, that's a visceral feeling. Yeah. Like, when you look up and see a wall of water, you're like, holy crap. Definitely. No, it was very cool. I have enjoyed it, and we are now coming into anchor, so we'll get busy. Yeah, we're kind of tired and hungry, right? Yeah, definitely ready for dinner. Mac and cheese. It's been two to three meters swell all day and it's kind of nice to get into protection and get away from that big, swelly, rolly on your side thing. It really gives you a workout in your core muscles. 
We're happy to be in the lead. 